This 3D printer is using a sugar solution to make molds which can be used to make silicone veins and arteries. The researchers successfully implanted these artificial blood vessels in a rat last year. But the ultimate goal, says lead researcher Jordan Miller, is to produce structures that can be implanted in humans. We're in the field that is trying to understand ways to build new tissues and new organ systems for human patients made from their own cells. One idea would be to fill the molds with material commonly found in the body, like collagen, which could be safely implanted with a donor organ to quickly provide a mechanism for blood delivery. If we implant a collagen gel, your cells from your body can actually come in and replace that collagen gel with their own, their own proteins. Collagen is the material that forms bones, tendons, and other connecting tissues in the body. Along the way, the Rice researchers are looking for ways to use their artificial systems to learn more about one of humankind's biggest health threats. We can use similar models to this with our blood vessels that we've designed, and we can then study how cancer cells can go from a primary tumor into the blood vessels. All of this research is made possible by this specially produced fast and accurate 3D printer, which Jordan Miller says is a device designed for cutting metal that has been adapted for this experiment. We can use the same firmware that everyone's using for 3D printing, but instead we're extruding sugar with it instead of cutting metal. Miller's team produced this device and shared the design online with the reprap.org community, through which people around the world create machines that can, to some extent, create their own parts. This type of open source movement has really empowered science. This is really what science is supposed to be about. You're supposed to be able to reproduce someone else's work. Miller cautions that it could take many years of further research before these 3D printed devices benefit human patients. But through their collaborative effort, he and his team members hope to see that dream realized. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston.